Welcome to the global defense battle. The Tomahawk is a long-range cruise missile developed by the United States. Its development began in 1972, aiming to create a missile capable of deep land attack warfare. The Tomahawk was designed to fly at subsonic speed while maintaining a low altitude, making it difficult to detect on radar. The missile was introduced into service in 1983. The Tomahawk has been used in various conflicts, including the Gulf War and operations in Iraq and Syria. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow is a long-range, air-launched cruise missile developed jointly by the United Kingdom and France. Development started in 1994, with the missile entering service in 2003. It was designed to provide a precision strike capability against high-value targets such as command centers, airfields, and infrastructure. The Storm Shadow has been used in conflicts including the Iraq War, the intervention in Libya, and operations against ISIS in Syria and Iraq. And today, we will compare both of these missiles, United States Tomahawk versus United Kingdom Storm Shadow. So, let's start. As always, talking about the design and dimensions first, the Tomahawk missile features a modular design, allowing for various configurations to suit different mission requirements. It measures approximately 5.56 meters in length, 51.8 centimeters in diameter, and has a wingspan of 2.67 meters. The missile weighs around 1,315 kilograms. Its aerodynamic structure, combined with tail fins, enables stable flight at low altitudes and subsonic speeds, enhancing its ability to evade enemy radar detection. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile is designed for precision strikes against high-value targets. It has a length of 5.10 meters, a body diameter of 48 centimeters, and a wingspan of 3 meters. The missile weighs approximately 1,300 kilograms. Its sleek, aerodynamic body is optimized for low observability and efficient flight. The missile's wings and tail fins deploy after launch, providing stability and control during its subsonic flight towards the target. Overall, both the Tomahawk and Storm Shadow missiles are designed with aerodynamic profiles and deployable control surfaces to ensure stable, low-altitude, subsonic flight. Talking about the propulsion and performance, the Tomahawk missile is powered by a Williams International F-107W R402 turbofan engine, which uses TH dimer fuel. At launch, a solid fuel rocket booster propels the missile until the turbofan engine takes over for sustained flight. The missile travels at subsonic speeds, approximately Mach 0.74, about 880 km per hour. Depending on the variant, the Tomahawk's range varies. The Block 4 version can reach up to 1,600 km, while the Block 5 B extends beyond 1,666 km. The missile maintains a low flight altitude typically between 30 to 50 meters above ground level, to avoid detection. The Tomahawk is a single-stage missile, utilizing its turbofan engine for the entirety of its flight after booster separation. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile employs a Microturbo T RI-6030 turbojet engine, enabling it to cruise at subsonic speeds around Mach 0.8, approximately 980 km per hour. It has an operational range of about 250 km, though some reports suggest it can reach up to 560 kilometers. The missile is designed to fly at low altitudes, using terrain-following technology to navigate and avoid enemy defenses. Like the Tomahawk, the Storm Shadow is a single-stage missile, relying on its turbojet engine throughout its flight. Overall, both the Tomahawk and Storm Shadow are subsonic, single-stage cruise missiles designed for long-range precision strikes. Coming to the payload and warhead types, the Tomahawk missile is capable of carrying both nuclear and conventional warheads. The conventional variants, such as the Block 3 TLAMC and Block 4 TLAME, are equipped with approximately 450 kg high explosive unitary warheads. Alternatively, the Block 3 TLAMD variant carries a submunitions dispenser loaded with BLU 97B combined effects bombs. In the past, the Tomahawk could be armed with a W-80 nuclear warhead, which had a variable yield ranging from 5 to 150 kilotons. However, these nuclear variants have been retired from service. The missile is designed to carry a single warhead and does not have the capability to carry multiple warheads. The destruction radius of the conventional high-explosive warhead is substantial, but specific measurements in meters or kilometers are not publicly disclosed. 
The impact area would depend on various factors, including the nature of the target and the environment. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile is equipped with a 450-kilogram brooch warhead, which is a multi-stage warhead designed for enhanced effectiveness against hardened targets. This warhead consists of an initial shaped charge to penetrate defenses, followed by a secondary high-explosive charge to maximize damage within the target. The Storm Shadow is solely designed for conventional warfare and does not carry nuclear warheads. Similar to the Tomahawk, it carries a single warhead and is not configured to deliver multiple warheads. The exact destruction radius of the Storm Shadow's warhead is not specified in public sources, as it can vary based on target characteristics and other conditions. Overall, both missiles are engineered to effectively neutralize their intended targets through advanced warhead designs and delivery systems. Talking about the guidance and accuracy, the Tomahawk missile employs a combination of guidance systems to achieve high accuracy. It utilizes an inertial navigation system for initial guidance, supplemented by GPS for enhanced precision. Additionally, it incorporates terrain contour matching and digital scene matching area correlator systems. Turkum allows the missile to compare its current terrain profile with pre-stored maps, ensuring it follows the correct path, while DSMAC uses onboard cameras to match real-time images with stored target images for precise terminal guidance. These integrated systems enable the Tomahawk to have a circular error probable of approximately 10 meters, meaning it can strike within 10 meters of its intended target 50% of the time. The missile is capable of in-flight maneuvering, adjusting its course based on pre-programmed waypoints and real-time data from its guidance systems, allowing it to navigate complex routes and avoid obstacles or threats. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile also features an advanced guidance system that combines multiple technologies for precise targeting. It employs an INS for primary navigation, augmented by GPS and terrain reference navigation to maintain an accurate flight path. In the terminal phase of its flight, the missile uses an infrared seeker to match the target area with preloaded images, ensuring high precision upon impact. This multi-layered guidance approach provides the Storm Shadow with exceptional accuracy, though specific CEP values are not publicly disclosed. Like the Tomahawk, the Storm Shadow is designed to maneuver during flight following a low-altitude, terrain-hugging trajectory to evade detection and adjust its path as needed to reach its designated target. Coming to the launch platforms, the Tomahawk missile is primarily launched from U.S. Navy surface ships and submarines. It is deployed on various vessels, including Aegis-class cruisers, guided missile destroyers, and Seawolf and Los Angeles-class submarines. The missile is housed in vertical launch systems, or torpedo tubes, depending on the platform. The preparation and launch process is streamlined, allowing for rapid response to mission requirements. The Tomahawk is deployed on mobile sea-based platforms, providing flexibility in positioning and strategic advantage. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile is an air launch weapon designed to be deployed from various aircraft platforms. Compatible aircraft include the Eurofighter Typhoon, Dassault Rafale, and Panavia Tornado. The missile is carried externally under the aircraft's wing or fuselage. Preparation for launch involves mission planning and integration with the aircraft systems, enabling timely deployment during combat operations. As an air launch system, the Storm Shadow relies on the mobility of its carrier aircraft to reach launch positions, offering strategic flexibility. Regarding cost, in 2004, a contract valued at $1.6 billion was awarded to produce up to 2,200 Tomahawk Block 4 missiles, averaging approximately $727,000 per missile at that time. However, due to inflation and further advancements, the unit cost has increased. As of fiscal year 2022, the cost per Tomahawk Block 5 missile is approximately $2.404 million. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow's unit cost per missile has evolved over time. Initially, missiles were valued at approximately $1.35 million each. More recent estimates suggest a unit cost of around $2.5 million per missile. As of 2023, the U.S. had procured approximately 9,000 Tomahawk land attack missiles. Over time, around 2,900 of these have been expended in various operations, leaving an estimated inventory of about 6,100 missiles. On the other hand, the Storm Shadow missile, by 2017, Approximately 3,000 units had been produced and ordered across nine operator countries, including the UK, France, Italy, and several export nations. 
In summary, the Tomahawk and Storm Shadow are two of the most advanced long-range cruise missiles in modern warfare, each serving critical roles in precision strike missions. Together, these missiles highlight the strategic diversity in cruise missile development across nations. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.